thanks to the clever engineering of Elon Musk, Starlink, version one of the satellite dish, the round one, does not fit with the mount. Only fits with version two, but they don't tell you that until you actually try to put it on. So now we're gonna go return it. So, so you're probably wondering on how we got here. Well, the other day I received an email from Starlink and what they'd done is they started off the email bit with uh, the notion that they had reviewed our account and that they believe they can help with our Starlink performance. And I do have some issues out there because I have so many big trees around and I'm not willing to cut them down. So I kind of deal with that we have a little bit of an outage, but the email kind of goes into how obstructions work and all that good stuff. And at the bottom, they say that they have an offer that uh, is a 40% discount for me, uh, and I can pick an amount of my choice to help me get better reception. So you click on that and you get to this pretty page and it shows all the different mounts. Now, mind you, they've res reviewed my account and that's why they're sending this to me. So I'm under the assumption that all of this will work with my system. So I click on the ridgeline mount because that is actually what I want. I don't want to drill holes into my roof. I already have enough of them in there from the solar panels. So I click on that and it immediately takes you to this page where you have to accept. And once you accept, there's no no other information, just that, you know, they're pretty much processed the order. And then you see they charge me the entire amount, which is two twenty and fifty cents. So I had to open up a ticket with them and the response I got was like, Hey, send us the link where you got this special. I'm like, Okay, well, do you not know what kind of things you send out? I thought you did an account review. So I sent the link and all that information and screenshots, and then they went and uh, credited me the $50 that they charged me too much. And then a few days later, the uh, amount arrived in the mail, and um, we decided to install it. And I didn't even think of checking if my dish would fit because I assumed that this is something that would have happened in engineering to begin with or that they would have not even sent me this if any of this didn't fit. So I went ahead and mounted the thing onto the roof and mind you, you have to carry every one of the weights individually because they're so heavy and there's four of them, four, two for each side and putting the mount up there. So you're running up and down five times and planning out where you're going to put it because I don't want too much shade on my solar panels from the actual uh, Starlink. So you spend quite a bit of time doing this and then you get it finally up there. And then I went and grabbed the dish and threw it over my shoulder, climbed back up there and standing on that last rung of the ladder to get actually the dish up to that point of the pipe of the mount you start seeing that it doesn't fit and we're talking by about a sixteenth of an inch i mean it is such a minimal difference that i it was just baffling to me that somebody could redesign the next dish and when they make the mounts that they make them a tiny bit different than the version one um so I was a little bit frustrated and I went inside and I opened up another ticket and send a message. And so the response that I got uh, from the first support agent was pretty much, hey, yeah, 
there aren't any mounts that fit for that except the two that are um, old style mount but the new ones just don't fit and your only option is to upgrade to the new uh, dish version the rectangular one which is 500 bucks and then you just close the ticket and I'm like well that's not really cool because my problem isn't solved I'm not buying another $500 dish uh, because you uh, suggested that you're going to solve my problem with connection by me buying a mount at 40% discount, not realizing that it wouldn't fit. So why would you not just uh, offer me to take that mount back? So I had to reopen the ticket. I had to ask, well, why on earth did you just close the ticket? That didn't solve my problem. It was a different person that time, and they immediately apologized they credited me the full amount now mind you i got 50 percent discount they didn't deduct that even out of there they said they're going to just do me right with a whole discount and a month for free so starlink did make it right at the end even though it was very frustrating the process spent a lot of time you know going up the ladder down the ladder lifting these things around and the disappointment that you don't have a solution but one thing I learned out of this is uh, to double check everything before you actually go through the process of installing things. Um, I will be building one on my own one of these roof mounts because I like the principle and it should be easily uh, built on my own. So once I have some time and I'll get some materials and I will start implementing my own ridgeline mount. Uh, I'll keep everybody updated and as always thank you for watching and like comment subscribe it helps tremendous I do reply to every comment um, so hit us up if you need any info and we will see you in the next video thanks